on you guys this is your boy the vast masher and welcome back to yet another beach brave souls video and today we are going to be showcasing vaso lord a full hollow ichigo that has just now gotten his resurrection alongside mugetsu right here so it's very nice to see that both of the fourth anniversary characters got resurrected now this character upon release uh he was bad by that i mean uh he was just a cheap unahana counter which pretty much made no sense to release him because we already had Noitora going around and he was just an inferior version of Noitora. Sure, he was in the premium pool, but like, he served no purpose besides PvP, which was just bad as a whole. But let's just take a look at what he got in terms of his resurrection and see if he's actually usable. So for starters, he has a Soul Reaper slash Hollow affiliated unit. The only unit that this character has to worry about has to pretty much be Ishin and of course the upcoming Yamamoto for said reasons, which we'll cover in a bit. He's got Captain Killer, so already good. He is going to be using that a lot in the current meta of PvP. He did pick up low stamina damage boost of 24% on the actual soul trait. He does have last stitch as base, as you guys can see right here. Sadly, against most of the New York PvP characters, with everyone being able to completely ignore last stitch. Uh, yeah, this guy dies. It's game over. Now, mine's Max Transcended, 5-5, five, 5 five under attack, as you guys can see right here. In the bonus abilities, I gave him low stamina, damage boost, and dodge. Now, I could've opted to give him Pierce Barrier, but I felt like maybe dodge was the way to go about it for this character right here. But uh, yeah, in terms of the overall stuff that he got, now, he did have Sprinter plus one as a six-star ability, but it got moved to the innate ability, which is actually pretty interesting. That was never done before. And then the six-star abilities, he picked up a bruiser of 50%, which is a massive upgrade for sure. It is going to allow him to do a lot more damage. And then he also picked up Brave Battle Invincibility. So for 10 seconds, he's going to be invincible. Except for against units that can pretty much ignore invincibility. So uh, yeah, other than that, good upgrades. Definitely very good. I do see him being very good against captains. But I don't see him being good against anything that isn't captains. Yeah, I don't quite the top of what I said right there. Just because of the simple matter of fact that he lacks the innate uh, damage reduction against most enemy mobs. Because he only has 20% damage reduction against captains, as you guys can see right here. And I feel like maybe it would have been better if this guy got, per se, ignore Brave Battle Invincibility instead of Brave Battle Temporary Invincibility. For a lot of good reasons, but... For now, let's just get him all built up and ready to go. I'll decide the appropriate team to use this character on, and uh, we'll see how well he'll do in PvP for sure. Alright lads, this is going to be the PvP team in which we are going to be using to tackle on most of the meta teams. So for starters, we have ourselves Sajin, who I have 2 out of 5 with level 10 attack and focus, Golden Chappie, Chappie, and the Rogue all with 30% attack, Triple DR links with the Sinkamons and Getsu, then we have my Chad, who is... 4 out of 5, as you guys can see right here. Golden Chappie, Chappie, and Yanraku. And then I pretty much have a bunch of DR links here, as you guys can see. Why am I using this Howler Bow? Hold on. Okay, now that's much better. Good amount of attack and the same amount of DR as uh, shown previously. So, uh, yeah. And then finally, the main guy that we're trying to showcase, VL. Uh, we have the same setup. 220 DR links with the Grimjaw having normal attack damage of 16%. And then the Sinkamons will get to right here because it's always a very good link to have for damn sure when it comes to dishing out more normal attacks. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try them out and see how well we can do here. Now, I can choose to swap out Chad for Ishin and have a full invincibility team. But, like, uh, he's 1-5. Uh, so, like, depending on how the matches go, I might swap out Chad for Ishin. But we'll see how things will go. But for now, I'd say we just get started. And I think right now, we should try to take it slow and fight against characters that we can fight against. Like, for example, this Kanpachi right here. He's 4-5. VL is going to be able to pretty much smack him. Now, he may not have Flurry plus 2, but, like, he's got more damage reduction, and Kenny will not have killer advantage whatsoever. So, again, perfect opportunity to showcase him. We're going to have Sajin bully Suki, and then Chad bully Oko. So... Let's see how well this will go. We're in Lieutenant, by the way. I'm in the Demotion Zone because I cannot be asked to do PvP every single goddamn day. I just try to keep myself in third seat and Lieutenant. All right, let's see match number one. Oh, shit. But, oh, hello. VL is tanking. Nice. Wow. 
Okay, okay, we're off to a very good start already. He was able to tank against Kenny despite being 4-5. And once the barriers were done, well, he did a good amount of damage. Now let's try against another character. Kuriyashiki's an interesting one too. Right, right, yes, yes, yes. That's the character that came after Kenny. 1-5, yeah, I feel like a BL is probably gonna be able to take him down for sure, for sure. And ooh, that's a dangerous Yuhabaha. Uh, oh shit, haha. <laughs> uh, let's have a uh, Chad maybe be able to kill you, huh? What do I have? No, no, I can't risk uh, Viol uh, firing you, huh? He's gonna get killed by him. Okay, now let's see how well Viol will fare against, uh... Oh, god damn it, stop barrier? But, hey, 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 hold up. Oh, god damn it, bro, really? You were doing so good. Oh, but hey. Chad the GOAT! Chad the GOAT! We still won! Hells yeah, bro! That's what I'm talking about! You, 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 you! Okay, you know what? Let's take it a step back. You know, may as well. Why don't we see how well Veal is gonna be able to take down an actual spirits offer with Yamamoto? Although, Sajin is just gonna be cheap and just completely decide to, uh, screw over Tsukushima and kill everyone and then kill Yama, so... I mean, we could try doing that, but... Bro, I'm feeling cocky, may as well. Alrighty. We're gonna have Chad kill Noitora if he doesn't get paralyzed. Okay, good. Wait. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I forgot Yama had a uh, Pierce Invincibility. Okay, yeah, definitely do not use VL against Yama because, yeah, that's already the first flaw. VL not having Pierce Invincibility just means that um, against characters like the new Yama that is gonna be dropping in a couple days, he is not gonna be effective at all, for sure. Nor will he even be effective against this Ishin, as you guys can see right here, so yeah. But that being said, we do have a white here who is actually going to be quite dangerous with this SA3, so you know what? I figure we may as well try to switch it up and have our team be semi-invincible. And I want to see if VL can actually take down Yupa, even with the lack of damage reduction. So what we're going to do is uh, swap out Chad for Ishin. Let's just run through that real quick. And swap the Enraku for a rogue. That's much better. That being said, he's only 1-5 compared to my chat who was 4-5. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go and do this. And now we're completely safe to go. Alrighty, now let's see how VL is gonna do against... Do I really need to give my VL freaking, uh... Ooh. Ooh, wow, he took down Yuha. <laughs> that being said, Yuha was only 1-5 there, but goddamn. Okay, now we have ourselves a stronger Yuha, and this is a 4-5-1, which is going to give VL a bit more of a tougher time, but we'll see how well we'll do. We'll just have Ishin to counter against Aizen, and then Sachin to pretty much counter against Kenny. So let's see how well we'll do here. Here's hoping that this Yuha doesn't have a start barrier. Okay, no, he doesn't. Okay. Oh, come on, no! That's just terrible RNG. Really? Really? I got paralyzed the moment I started? Bruh. Okay, there we go. There's another 4-5 Yuha, but... Why is this dude bringing a 4-star tap? Like, god damn. <laughs> okay, at least we know that this guy doesn't have, uh... Here, uh... Yeah, start barrier, so at least we can just be able to take him down with ease, so... Let's just give it a shot and go for round two. Okay. Now let's see. Yeah, no. BL doesn't stand any chance against Yuha went too five so obviously do not use him against him okay i'm probably asking to get my ass clapped but bro, i'm feeling kind of cheap i want to try one more time we're gonna lose this but i just don't care oh now he was it no but then again we had ishin helping him out so that doesn't count sadly yeah, okay, there you guys go. Don't use VL against anything that isn't a captain, because as you guys saw, he gets clapped. All right, let's try a different approach. Sajin. Sajin is a captain. So VL will have the damage reduction against Sajin, and as long as VL doesn't get paralyzed by Sajin, he might be able to do something. I say might, because he does have the extra damage reduction, but only one way to find out, and that is to fight him. All righty. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Wow, he did very well against Sajin. That's good. Wow. Okay. And Sajin was too far. 
Keep in mind, Sajin's a guy that has fucking Flurry plus 3 for 10 seconds. So VL being able to counteract against this guy is saying a lot. Now granted, he did need to be 5-5 in order to take down Sajin, but still, still, we put in some work against him, which is good. Now, here's a strong point that we can use for VL. Since this guy is invincible, you know who we can take down? We can take down characters that don't have invincibility, but have no way of ignoring invincibility. So characters like this Chad right here and Oko are prime examples of that. But maybe not this kind of Chad, since he's kind of crappy. I'm sorry, but like, come on, that's not how you set him up. Okay, now that's a lot better, although Viola is just gonna make Chad be completely irrelevant just because of the fact that, again, Chad is not gonna be able to pierce through invincibility. So what happens when you pair up an invincibility character against one that cannot pierce through? Uh, simple. You're just gonna be a dickhead and give your opponent a hard time. Like... Okay, I'm sorry. Fuck off with that. No, fuck off with that. Sajin just came in and completely screwed over my VL and we could have showcased him nicely for once. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. Fuck that. Take number two and we found the same guy. I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of to be expected since we are in the demotion zone. We'll just find the same exact people to find against over and over again. But you know what? Who cares? Rematch time, baby. Now, Sajin, do not fuck over my VL. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Chad is dead. Finally managed to beat a Chad without getting screwed over by RNG. Oh, that was just infuriating. That's another reason why I don't like PvP, because sometimes uh, it only takes RNG to screw you over and you lose the match. Which I find to be bullshit. Okay, we found ourselves a 4-5 Kuniyashiki, so this is definitely going to be nice to see how well he is actually going to be able to do against him. I mean, hey, if we were able to beat Sajin with VL, we'll be able to beat Kuniyashiki. It's just that one time, we got very unlucky. And... hold on. And there we go. Kuniyashiki is dead, however, he's going to revive with the last stitch and... Never mind, you have just decided to completely clap us just like that. But yeah, as you guys saw, VL is very effective against the characters like Sajin and Kuriyashiki. Like, definitely, it's going to help out a lot with the fact that for once, he is not a captain unit. And the fact that unlike Unahana, who got like half stam normal tag damage of 30%, this guy actually picked up a pure 50% bruiser, allowing him to dish out more damage consistently. But at the same time, uh, sometimes it's kind of annoying against uh, most of the other PvP units. So, like, even though the Resurrection is good, it's not a perfect one. So, what do we want to do next with VL? I want to say, uh, let's just counter some SP characters for once, because, like... Oh, Cap! Sometimes the Aizens, the Macy's, those are going to be really goddamn annoying to fight against. So, we may as well just do that. We have ourselves OP Mikoto with the Macy. 5 Suki and uh, Aizen. Now, uh, let's see how well this is gonna work out for us. It's gonna work out well, right? Yeah. <laughs> Vio was like, shut the fuck up, just sit down. Like, he, he just didn't even spare a single second. He just came up there and just, you know, bitch slapped her. That's funny. I'm not gonna lie. Now, let's try one other thing. Use VL against the previous units that first got invincibility, like Jugrem, Tsukishima. VL will not have damage reduction against these type of characters. He will still have invincibility, but it still is going to be interesting to see how well we're going to do against him. So, let's just go and begin. We'll just have Ishin countering uh, Kenny, Sajin countering uh, Yama, and then VL obviously fighting who we want to fight against. All right, let's see how this will go. They're obviously not going to do shit to each other for like a good 10 seconds. But then uh, Ishin is just going to come up close and uh, yeah, that happens. Okay, I didn't even think about that kind of strat. But hey, it's actually kind of useful because you can just let, I don't know, your other PvP units take care of the remaining foes and then just have the all stall out the other invincibility unit and get the job done. 
but of course if the invincibility unit has pierce through invincibility then it's game over simple as that. Of course, I never recommend having VL fight against Ishin because guess what Ishin is going to do in this kind of case in particular? He's just gonna get clapped. Oh, and also Ishin will have killer against him because Ishin's a Soul Reaper killer, not a Captain killer. So there's that. Even though somehow we fucking won. I don't even know how. Okay, let's do one more match and this time just have the likes of BL against uh, Tsukishima. We're pretty much going to be doing the exact same thing that we just did with the likes of, uh, you know, uh, Jewgrap. But, we'll just do it just to end the showcase. Alrighty, here we go. That's not- that Aizen is going to be quite annoying. Oh, we got the Soul Bomb, nice. But yeah, as you guys can see, VL will work against Invincible character. Just don't take him against characters that can pierce through Invincibility, like I said earlier. But um, yeah, that's uh, Full Hollow Ichigo. Good resurrection, just not the greatest, as you guys can see. We did struggle in a good amount of matches when trying to use him in PvP. He does work against Kuriyashiki, he does work against Kenpachi, and he will work against Sajin. However, against the likes of Ishim, the new Thousand Year Blower Yamamoto in his prime, he is not the character you want to use against him. However, for when it comes to characters that can, I don't know, either not be captains or have both invincibility plus pierce through invincibility, like for example, Yuhabaha, Ishin, the new Mind Thousand Year Blower Yamamoto that is going to be dropping in the next couple of days, you do not want to use this character against those said units. At the bare minimum, VL is always going to be great for countering those SP-based characters that are just going to completely screw over your characters like that. But that's just about it, really. But for when it comes to the lower seats and just, you know, being able to rank high in PvP, you can definitely use them for sure. I don't really recommend using this character for the likes of the higher leagues, such as Lieutenant, Captain, and Head Captain. That's absolutely a no-go and you're just gonna be destroyed with him. Like, your only other optimal PvP team choices would pretty much be obviously the new Yamamoto that is gonna be dropping, Sajin, Chad, Yuha, those kind of characters are what's gonna help out a lot in terms of being able to rank high in the leagues and get the best out of the PvP rewards. But that's just about it. Just a good character, he's solid, he's usable. Just, uh, yeah. I'll definitely say he's better than he once was upon release because this guy was just a gimmick to be able to counter Unahana, and we had Noitora completely screwing over every single captains back in the meta. It was not fun, it was very unfair, so like, him being in a balanced PvP meta, it's actually quite healthy and you can definitely make good use out of him, even more so if you guys happen to have him max transcended. If you guys have been playing for a long time like I have, you'll pretty much happen to have these characters all duped up and ready to go. But um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your buddy Death Smasher, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. So take care, lot. Peace out. Bye bye. Sayonara.